COVID-19 may be causing more people to drink. According to a new survey, 60% of Americans have increased their alcohol consumption during the pandemic. Here's News 13's Ariana Kraft with what this means for New Mexico. The Center on Alcohol Substance Use and Addiction says there's a serious uptick in alcohol use here in the state, creating long-standing problems. We never want to lose sight of the suffering involved with alcohol and drug abuse. That is something that we always hold very close to our hearts. CASA is a multidisciplinary research center at the University of New Mexico. It has long-standing relationships with a number of community-based treatment programs that are available as sites for clinical trials. We focus on problems of health and social importance, and we believe in scientific integrity and human diversity. And there are rising concerns at the research center over the increased use of alcohol consumption, especially during the pandemic. Reasons given are boredom, stress, and oddly, alcohol availability. Addictive behaviors lead to suffering. It affects health, public safety, economic productivity, the majority of preventable illnesses, injury, and death. New Mexico is no stranger to the tragedies caused by alcohol use. Alex Martinez and Daniel Ortiz, two young mothers with two children each, had been drinking in the evening and using other substances and crashed their car, flew in the air, hit the wall, and two children were killed, a two-year-old and a seven-year-old girl. Health experts also want to warn people about the risks of using alcohol to cope with the pandemic. This alcohol use is very concerning because many of you may not be aware alcohol use impacts the immune system and makes one more vulnerable to COVID-19. Researchers say the pandemic has also created barriers to accessing alcohol treatment programs. The provision of alcohol treatment has been compromised and the availability of formal aftercare case management and very importantly, mutual health programs supporting treatment games have been more difficult to access. Leaders with CASA say people affected by alcohol and drugs can change their lives for the better. The research center says that's all a part of their mission. Back to you. Thanks, Ariana. A report by the CDC last year showed that our state continues to have what are the highest rates of alcohol related deaths? Researchers looked at data over four years ending in 2015.